Hello. This reading is for Gemini signs. Love you guys. One of my best friends is a Gemini and she's an artist. She's super cool and a writer like me. My name is MJ and I'm your Atlas to Life. So today is Wednesday and my scheduled video is a midweek meditation and yoga flow. I did that one first thing this morning. You can find that. I'll link it down below. This reading is going to be what you can expect halfway through, you know, mid-October and into your November. So like my video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the other cool things I have going on, which are Thursdays I do a tarot reading that's a channeled message from your person on Fridays. I really like to highlight this one. It's an informational video for chosen ones. Saturdays is a tarot card weekly reading for Twin Flames. And I'm not going to lie to you. I usually do like five or six or more on that day. So I devote my Saturdays to the Twin Flame message. On Sundays, I do yoga in nature, rain or shine. And then... Mondays, a super cool meditation that involves some astral projection for y'all. It'll take you out of your body. My email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com. If you're interested in a personalized reading, send me an email and I can set something up with ya. And I do these at very low rates because I love ya. Okay, let us begin. I'm super excited to see what's coming for you in October. The first card we get, this is the main card. It is the main issue at hand. You get temperance. And the obstacle to get in the way of tempering your anger, etc., and balance is the Three of Pentacles. To follow that card for your desires and aspirations, we get the Seven of Cups. For your resources comes the Four of Pentacles. Three, four. In the past, the devil was tempting you. In the future, you've got nine cups to enjoy. You are the king of cups. And the hanged man is your action. I'm out here in nature, isn't this super cool? I'm totally grounded. And it's one with source. The Ten of Cups is the world around you, the outside world. The Chariot, number seven, again, is your hopes and fears. And the Lover is number six, is the progression of this issue. But just listen to the sounds of the insects and the wind, and occasionally a pine needle falls down. It's super refreshing and relaxing. You might hear my doggy gamble. He's over here chewing on a, a stick. <laughs> what a doll. He's mommy's baby. So let's go to our first card. This is our issue. Angel Gabriel. Hey, gamble. There's your paw in my video. <laughs> He's super cute. See the water flowing in that card though. Temperance is number 14. You can see his little shadow. Come here, Gamble. Lay down. That's okay. You can lay there. Okay. When you get Temperance card for the main issue for you Geminis this month, this card is about blending and harmonizing oppositional forces and concepts.
this card's about fostering some complexities and it's about fusion producing evolution. Think deep into the happenings, the occurrences in your life right now. How can you make this fit? Are there some new ideas that you're very willing to embrace? Only this is the obstacle. So we can incorporate these two cards together as long as this one doesn't blow away. And it's the three of pentacles. Okay, stay put card. The three of pentacles being the obstacle to that balancing, that patience of the temperance card can work together consecutively in a creative aspect. And in fact, that card is all about working together to make things. So there's something that's very important that you need to build, but you're being patient. And that being patient is the issue. Patient, being patient is very important here. You may be a very creative individual and you may be thinking a little bit too big. You may see lots of areas or places, three specifically, where if you can get those to work together as a team, you see big and bright futures. So since this is an obstacle, maybe you're having trouble getting others to see it the same way as you and you can't get the people to work together that you know, if they do, will produce the manifestation that you're capable of seeing. So you may be in the midst of trying to get some collaboration from outside sources here. There's some natural talents that need to be combined. This card's a three. I'm feeling change may be hard for you. And that's okay because you should be tempering this for the time being, this mid to late October. For your desires and aspirations, then you get the seven of cups. Well, now just, I mean, just look here with the seven of cups, see all of the tools available. Cups are emotions and feelings. And that's what I was just talking about. You can really feel what it would be like for this specific situation to work out the way that you envision it. And isn't this little guy cute? Ganesh has the pink amethyst or I guess it's a pink quartz on top, the rose quartz on his back. So it's good luck with the heart. Back to the seven of cups. What you desire may be somewhat of an illusion. There may be too many choices for you going on for you to really pull it together and make it work. All the world is but a dream, they say. So you're a dreamer, like me. In a world of dazzling possibilities. What's tempting you? Which possibilities lay on the table? I'm getting the feeling that you have a very wild imagination. But I'm also getting a feeling that these visions and these dreams are going to come true for you. Resources. Your resources is the Four of Cups. Um, excuse me. I'm a goofball. I really get into what I'm doing and feeling it. What I meant to say is your resources are the Four of Pentacles. Look at that little guy there. He's got a pentacle on his head. He's got a pentacle at his heart. He's got a pentacle. Two pentacles. In fact, 
by his feet. And he's clinging to them. This little guy is not going to let them go. When you get the Four of Pentacles as a resource, the city below, behind you, which represents commerce and your incurred income, it's very important to you to cling or hold on tightly to the things that you've been saving up inside of you that you would like to share in the material world, world around you. Excuse me. So this could be some very early success and it's, a re, it's being res, a resource for you. That you're capable of seeing ways in which you might lose what you've gained. But I'm also seeing balance. You are also somebody who is capable of balancing many different projects, many different ideas. Very complex individual. And you're good at manifesting what you want in life. In the past, you got number 15 here. Pull these over because out here it's so windy. I thought if I wasn't behind the camera where you could hear me, that the wind would bother the sound quality and it might also make the cards blow away. But here, this devil card, you see the male and the female. She's the fruit, he's the fire. They're clinging. Well, not clinging, they're chained down to this devil, this temptation. This card's all about that monetary or monetary or material stuff. It is the card number 15 of the Major Arcana. So this card's about repressing your desires and emotions. really paying attention to the way that you react because you're fearful of the path it might lead you on in your life. When you really get down to it, this card is about confronting the archetype inside you. It's about being very brave and having the guts to shine your light. So in the past, that's what you were figuring out. But in the future, you get the Nine of Cups. This Nine of Cups is a little guy who's celebrating. He's very happy. Cups are feelings and emotions. Only when you get the Nine of Cups, you really need to question whether or not, let's say if all of the things that you were hoping for were to come true, is that always what's best for us? What might lay beneath some of these feelings? that we wish to acquire. Something's being concealed or hidden from you. And it's because of your emotional connection to certain things. Your wish will be granted. There will be success and pleasure. As your dreams come true, but there's a potential that it might not be all you had hoped and wished it would be. And take that into your life. Really consider that with your thinking mind. Let your soul ask for guidance. Because you're going to like what comes next. But that might be opening the doorway to something even better. It might not be the end yet. That's a nine. 
I'll set these ones in, here, in front here too. This is the King of Cups. So you are the King of Cups. And the Hanged Man is the action. So back to those feelings. That's your attitude. It's how you're seeing the world right now. And when I see the King of Cups there, let me pull this over just a little bit here so you can see them both. How about like this? This King of Cups, he's sitting on his throne up on top of the, the water, that healing water. I picture somebody who is a creative genius. He has the ability to inspire others just with his presence. It's not gender specific, by the way. This is a person who can adapt easily to life's ebbs and flows. His expression, he puts it out there eloquently and it's very impactful to the people in his life. And he can use that to plot and plan a true course. He's a visionary, an artistic master that is culturally in the realms of these higher dimensions, which makes other people look up to him. He's controlling this, these, the forces around him, the energy around him. So, you know, the action of being the hanged man here, which is number 12, by the way, the major arcana, what does that have to say? It says that this wisdom and introspection that he's getting towards the outer world I feel like at times you just want to walk alone and take the solitary path because even though you're doing everything for the sake of others, it gets old to surrender to these circumstances at times. And you may currently feel like you're being transformed forever. You may be taking a moment's pause and this is gonna be like worthwhile for you. It's gonna be very useful here in October. Now here's the others. Oh, they're flaunting it in your face. Their emotions and their feelings there, they feel like their ideal life is more important than yours. This card's a happily ever after card. It's a 10 card, it's completion. So the world around you might look better than what you're currently experiencing. And you may be dreaming of this. This, this life for you being a little different than what you see everybody else wanting. Maybe many people in your life have the same viewpoint of what would be happily ever after. And they're just okay with things being ordinary and normal. But you, you're just kind of hanging around and going through your days thinking there's got to be something so much better for me that's different from what they want out of their life. They're considering this a finale or an ending and you're just getting started or you're waiting to get started is the feel I get here. For your hopes and for your fears. Oh look, there's hopes and fears. Dual possibilities. Here with the chariot card, which is number seven. Another major arcana card, which means the meaning is strong. It's 
salad. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Your chariot awaits you, miss. And you know it, or a mister. It scares you, but you can't wait for it at the same time. You're very much protected, so keep that in mind. You've got a celestial, you've got celestial assistance. And you will move forward toward your chosen goal. If you're lacking self-confidence, don't do it. This card's about motion and adventure. It's about breaking free. It's about channeling energy into your whole entire body and thrusting it into action. And I wasn't wrong as I was setting this up and I put that little heart stone there, that heart crystal on top of that good luck because the lovers is the progression. This is where it's going. She's the fruit, he's the fire. And earlier on in your past, it showed up in a different way. You were chained down by the devil. Now you are led by the angel Gabriel. With the lover's card, that's where you're heading. That's number six. Six is my life path number. It's always been a lucky number for me. Does six resonate with you? It's Raphael. It's not Gabriel. Sorry for that. I just got excited because it's such a cool card to come at the end here. The lovers are symbolic of astrological Gemini and suggestive of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. This reading is for Geminis. How beautiful is that? In the lover's card, the snake symbolizes temptation. That was in your past. Am I right? I'm just giving you a moment to think about that. And you're very near future things are going to change for you at the this ending of october and as you go into november passion and romantic excitement oh sorry are going to take the place of these temptations that used to hurt or harm you true love's on the way this is choices of the heart this is deep soul splitting attraction, which to me means you might be coming to a place in your life where you are ready to unite with your twin flame or soul mate. Let's throw a few of these luminant spirit cards down to shine a little light on your late October forecast as you're moving into November time here the page of wands look at that card look long look hard wands are desires pages are the beginning of the action that's going to take place you're about to meet your desires because you're worth it with the king of swords this person male or female that can help you meet your desires has the knowledge has the wisdom has the experience he's the king stability Two. <laughs> two, two of pentacles, <laughs> like T-O and then two of pentacles to balance out the manifestations of your wildest dreams. So 
So this is all the things that if you tried to get them on your own, you might have trouble balancing. But when the two of, when you collaborate with or unite with that person or that business partner or that friendship together, you balance out the dualities. So there's going to be a lot of stability for you. You're going to be able to harmonize some things within yourself that you could not do alone with the help or assistance or deep connection with or of another. Two more. Victory. This card is also about balance. There's a six for the number of the card. My life path, lucky number again. But the, the year underneath there, it, it lists that four, which it's an ancient symbol. There's symbolism all over this card. And this card is about harmonizing and balancing your desires. One more. Ooh, the wind's blowing it. Don't let these tower moments spoil it for you. Be glad when they occur. And look at the cool artwork on there. To you artists. To you big dreamers, you thinkers. You smarty pants. To me, that looks exciting. And I totally want to go on that ride. <laughs> and I can't wait to tell everybody about it afterwards. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that earlier you need to be sharing some of that stuff with the others. Cool beats, Gemini! I absolutely love the cards that came for you guys this month. This halfway through the month. Because I did one at the beginning of the month as well. So thank you very much for watching. Like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything I've got coming up. I do a lot of these... Um, sporadic readings throughout the week like tons of them and then I do all my scheduled stuff as well and I don't want you to miss any of that stuff looks like a very exciting end of October for you as we move into November and the seasons are changing for everybody no matter where you are in the world on this planet I have so much love for you, so much light for you. I'm sending you many blessings and lots of peace of mind. My email address is em3dj3 at gmail.com. If you're interested in donating to my channel so I can buy some more supplies and I don't necessarily have to do my readings, you know, out here in nature, which I do love to be grounded by source. But I think I'd like to have some more props and cool things to utilize for your benefit. It would be so much greatly appreciated. And I'll send energy healing to all those who help. All I ask is that you just keep shining bright, Geminis. Because I love your vibes. Stay grateful, stay thankful, stay blessed. I am EMJ Life Atlas. I'm your Atlas to Life. Namaste. Have a good end of your month, Geminis. Thanks again for watching. Let me know how this resonated with you. I want to hear specifics. I'm totally nosy. And I'll share some of my own with you. Bye. Later on.